And a happy Saturday, viewers. This is week four of the Surrey Championship League. Today's the first 11 versus Streatham and Marlborough. And what's this? We've got a nice dry track. Looks like it's got a lot of runs in it. Um, it's going to be a cracker today, I think. Josh, Johnny. How's it going? I'm good, I'm good. So what do you, what do you think about today? Uh, pitch looks pretty hard, um, so I reckon this is going to be quick, I'm not so sure, but um, I don't know, they got bought out for 32 last week, did they? Yeah. But, well, we're batting first, so hopefully we'll just get a good score on the board and then yeah. we'll see what happens, basically. Yeah, yeah, Yogi and Chris opening the batting, so uh, quick singles? <laughs> quick singles, maybe not, but some explosions, <laughs> boundaries, four, sixes, so... But let's hope so, so. let's hope so. Anyway, good luck chaps, we'll see you later. Cheers, Dan. Here we go, Sun's dead batting first, 50 over game. Oh, that looks out. And it's not. Maybe it pitched outside leg. Big shout, though. Kept a little low. Nice bit of swing, and that's uh, just one bounce. Chris off the mark in uh, usual style. And for the familiar sight of Yogi opening the batting. Back in the wands. A few team changes this week. Uh, Tyler's uh, off slightly ill. Oh, that's a great bit of fielding there. Yeah, Tyler Zill is having his go for COVID jab, I think. Um, Tom Coulson, injured uh, a couple of days ago. Not sure what. And Will Davis, the keeper, is, uh, has gone down to Cornwall. So Rory is in the side. And why not? Once again, uppish. This does hit the ball in the air a lot, and Yogi would have been stranded there. Oh, what a delivery! Splendid. Oh, Yogi, nice little, uh, slightly agricultural shot, but otherwise very well placed. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Yogi. That's uh, yeah. Oh, there we go, straight into the side screen. Now the usual, the usual boundary walk from the lads. Johnny, Josh, Josh McKinnon, Cy Carter and Roy Brooks. Oh, that's gone. So, straight into the school. 20 for none, six overs gone. Field back, easy single. Oh, that's a nice shot. Chris, a couple of bounces, beautiful. Oh, that's in there. Could be out, should be out. And it is. A little bit of a leading edge there or something. Oh, left arm over on bowling to John Coles in at three. In three wide so far. That might be a fourth, yeah. Can we get a straight one? There it was. Comfortably played by John. And at last it's cricket weather. Beautiful day here at the old sawmill. 18 degrees. Light fluffy clouds. Beautiful. It's the end of a long over. Here we go, the first 10 overs gone, 35 for one, make that 39, um, just for the loss of Chris Bowman. Shot, Yogi, Yogi gets that that's away. a top shot! Beautiful. Shot, it's got to be two. Oh, boy, Good running! Oh, Building. 42 for one now, off 12, and a bit of spin into the attack. And why not? Oh, that's a lovely hit from Yogi. Gets hold of that beautifully. 59 for one now. 17th over. Good bowl. Oh, that's straight back at the bowler. Gets a hand on it. Oh. Boy, oh boy, that was hit brutally. Bowler looks okay. Good contest, this. Stretton just stringing a few dots together. And uh, pressure's built. And the wicket falls. That's John Coles goes. That's 63, I think, for two. It's the 20th over. There we go. Honours even, I think. Didn't quite get that. But he's got the four for it. Well, the talk here is that around 220 would be a good score. <laughs> uh, so that's about five and over from here to reach that target. Oh, 
Oh, nicely played. This has got to be two. Easy. Well, the track's good, but uh, it's probably a little bit soft underneath. The ball is just stopping a little bit. It's not as fluent as you might think. Oh, Yogi goes big. And we think that's a six. There we go. 44 he's gone to now. Oh, Yogi trying again. And why not? Oh, that's a little snick there from Yogi. That's gone. It's a little bit faster this outfield than it has been in recent weeks. And there uh, we've lost a player into the hedge. Well done, sir. Skipper back into the attack. Looks like he was a quick bowler a few years ago. Nothing out of that. Wide. Yeah, lovely little wristy flick there from Yogi's, but it plugs a little bit. That's going to be two. Ah, and that's another. Another 50 for Yogi. This is uh, an incredible, incredible run this season for Yogi. It must be like 1947 and Dennis Compton batting at the Oval. Not that I remember that, viewers. What? That's a lovely shot. One bounce, car park. That's a super stuff. Spin continues, it's 89 for two in the 25th over. Just sneaks over there. We're halfway now, 94 the score. Oh, that's it. Don't do that to Yogi. Oh, ball. Lovely shot. Found the gap. Would it go? A three. Yogi doesn't do many of them. Oh, and Yogi goes for another big, expansive shot. Gets bold. Three down now. 97. Josh Stacy in at five. And welcome. And Josh off the mark. Josh. Yep, that's all the way. Beautiful. Shot, Josh. It's Josh's dad there. Good bowling here. There we go. 20 overs to go. The scene is set. So Josh's dad has uh, driven all the way from Abergavenny last night to come and see Josh play. And why not? Excellent cricketer. Brilliant addition to Sana said, absolutely loves it here. Starting a, he's starting a podcast with Jalen, which is going to be a little bit, little bit risque, not for the, not for the faint-hearted. Um, we'll keep keep tabs on that. Not sure where it'll go, but it'll be fun and feisty. It's good bowling, this. Yeah, short one. Straight to the man, though. But these Stretton spinners, they're not making it easy. That was a lovely, lovely little late cut. And it's gone. Well, Josh's dad um, says he's a much better bat than a bowler. And that's a, a lovely shot. Shows you why he thinks that. We, of course, last year saw Josh having a tremendous bowling season. Not much batting, so maybe this, this season we'll see a bit more of a balance. I have to say, viewers, it's, it really has been a, a long time for this season to get going. But here we are with glorious weather, great cricket, and what I think should be a really, really, really good match. Shaping up beautifully. 131 for three, the 36 over. That's got in the air, should be out, and it is. So, Tom Battams goes. Nice little cameo. Kept the Get the run right going. Rory Brooks in at six, batted so well last week, looking very good this season. Hits the ball hard and in because Will Davis is down in Cornwall. Getting drunk, I would imagine. And why not? It's a nice 
shot. Rory is fit, quick. Good two. Nice. 13 overs left now. 70 or 80 would be a competitive score. Not easy here, the track is uh, just a little sluggish. Fielding excellent, bowling's good. This is. Uh, oh, good stuff. Just dropping short there. This is good bowling. Sana said, just struggling to get momentum here. Coming out, fellas, this ball eh? That's a nice shot, it just breaks the, breaks the tension. Yes, yes, yes. Easy two. 12 overs left. Time to get a move on. Oh, oh, oh. Not easy out there. Final 10 overs now. Stretton bowlers piling on the pressure still. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good ball. Josh hits it straight back at him. That's five down now, 145. Something like, I can't remember, nine overs left. Josh McKinnon joins Rory, these two very much the power hitters in the side. Lovely to see a partnership emerge from these two. Shot. Yes. Shot from Josh. Lovely, it? It's really nice. I think they've cut it on the wrong setting. So you have to edit that's, that's, our, that's our excuse anyway. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We chased 50. Yeah, man. Welcome, Boundy. Yeah. We, it's been a long time we coming. With old roots, yeah. Yes, I feel Rory is about to unleash. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful shot. <laughs> it's the opposite of commentator's curse. Love it. Six overs to go. One seventy-two. Final five. Open the back. Rory helmetless. Kicks it away. One of your batsmen that's come off has mentioned how tough it is out there. And there's another one. Yeah. Well held. It really isn't easy there. Yeah. One seventy-two or whatever we end up with. One ninety. You never know. Might well be enough. Nice hit. That's for one and brings Simon Carter, the skipper, on to strike. In at eight. Just Johnny Longcock to come and two bowlers. With apologies to Greg McLean. Coming uh, at ten, who is more than just a bowler. That's beautifully hit from Simon. Teaser. Well watched. Last four. And this uh, excellent bowler carries on. Really has bowled a super spell today. Immaculate line in length. Oh, well hit from Simon. Good stop. That's three runs saved. Even then, Simon yeah, just cannot get it away. Comes back for a second. And uh, <laughs> Josh dives home. Final over. Simon said, hit the 200. And that's gone. So Josh goes at seven down. So here's Johnny Longcock for a few balls. I do. Just a couple of balls left. Simon said, still really struggling to get it away. That's, uh, should be a second. Yeah, easy second. 95 it is, final ball. Slow one and it's uh, six. So that's it, super stuff. 
That's uh, 201 there. Well done, Simon, at the end. And I have to say, an absolutely brilliant bowling and fielding spell uh, from Stratton and Marlborough. Made it really, really hard. It's going to be fascinating to see what happens set in innings, but uh, until then, time for a Tupperware tea. Well, that's a little four leaks away, but uh, we joined the game, it's the six over. It's something like 27 for none. Sanders said need to tighten up their bowling a little bit. Runs are coming relatively easily. A loose shot there, not necessary. Got away with it. Oh, fielded by the stumps there. Cleaned up by Longcock. And the accurate score is 28 for none off five overs. Oh, that's a dev speciality. Oh, that's a lovely shot. To time that beautifully. Oh, that's a little snick. Yogi dives, and Greg had actually asked the skipper to put a third man in there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that just dropped short. It's better bowling now. The guys are stringing a few dots together. Oh, there's Tyler rocked up. Not sure what he's got in his hat. Oh, there's a stick and no third man. Should always be a third man. Well, we're in the 10th over now. It's 45 for none. And uh, Tyler with me. Tyler, what's that in your hair? Um, your hat, rather. In my hat. It's a, a cocktail umbrella, actually. It's uh, cocktail weekend uh, here at the club and someone put it uh, in my hat. Very good. And why aren't you playing? Um, well, I had my second jab and um, oh, yeah. I certainly felt better. It's a shame though. The weather's finally here for cricket. But you you, you uh, decided to not play beforehand, didn't you? I was so being you, presumptuous you so as to not, not mess the club around yeah. Saturday no, morning fair, yeah. when I, I wasn't well enough to play. I think that's perfectly honourable. That's a nice shot. So, what, what do you think here, mate? I mean, we got 2-0-1. It was tough because they bowled well. Yeah, well, Yogi coming in and scoring runs. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, done a top job there yeah absolutely um, absolutely 200 i don't know but from what i um hear the wicket sounded slightly slow yeah we've got to bowl so well though 200 if you bowl well could could be okay we've but got to bowl well. need a, a couple wicket of yeah, yeah that's it we need Definitely. a we need a wicket or two yep there we go first 10 stress them very much ahead of the run rate no wickets lost time for captain carter Short and wide. These bowlers just taking a bit too long to find their lengths and lines. But good work there from Josh. That's better. So critical point now. Josh Stacy comes on to bowl the uh, 12th over. And it's a big old moon ball, but there could be a catch here. And there's a collision and a catch. My word, how on earth can you get a wicket with a ball like that? Oh God, well. He'll take everything. Oh, and Josh gets a little inside edge on that one. And uh, could there be a run out? Oh, my word, it really is all happening here. Bonkers. Oh, a bark. Well, that was a very interesting eventful over. Simon Carter, look, the Kim Kardashian of club cricket. Oh, that's well picked up. Beautiful shot. One bounce for. Oh, no run there, surely. Four throw. Oh, got out. And that is over the top. Just number four. Sana said, struggling here a little bit. There's something to happen. A little look at the league table. Sana said in joint second, uh, with two wins and a match abandoned. Stratford and Marlborough 
back in fourth place. This could be, uh, yeah, this could be a league decider so early in the season. You never know. Oh, well bowled, and that's gone. Super stuff from Josh. Little feather. No mistake from Rory. That's two down. It's 75. It's the, I think, the 18th over. Around his legs. Well, Josh Stacey, that's three now. Uh, that really does make things very interesting. It's 78 for three. I think it's the 20th over. Yeah, so 20 overs gone, 78 for three. For the first time, the. Oh, that's good work. The uh, run rate is now below that required. Thanks, of course, to. Uh, Sandersted's brilliant pop culture duo of Kim Kardashian bowling up the hill and Slim Shady bowling down. Bowling. And that's uh, straight back at him. Four down now. Uh, Sandersted getting a bit of a grip on this game now. This Bowman has been absolutely on fire down there. Not bad for one of his years. Oh, well bowled, and that's another one. That's another one. That's five down. Good Lord, it's all happening very quickly now. What a turnaround. That's four for you, mate. 78 for five now. Four for Josh. Oh! Got uh, Bob Longcock with me now. Bob, I've um, seen a little clip of you uh, on the on the golf course driving a buggy. Do you want to tell us what happened? Well, my golf wasn't up to much, Dan, and I had to do something to keep the crowd entertained. Very good, very good. Well, we'll be showing you a little clip whilst uh, whilst this is happening. So, uh, yeah, do you have to pay anything for your vandalism? I went and fessed up in the pro shop. Yeah. Uh, told them that their buggies were defective because they only went backwards. <laughs> good. <laughs> well done, mate. Ah, uh, good fun. Bob, you got something else for us? Well, just a, just a reminder, Dan. <laughs> while we're talking about buggies, I seem mm. to remember an incident in Cornwall some Ooh, years yes, ago. Yes. Do, you want to, do you want to recollect that one? 1994, I think it was. It was a bit wet, wasn't it? We were playing on the edge of a cliff, and uh, you and me were in a buggy. Uh, I think I was... Um, uh, who was driving? Well, you were definitely. Oh yes, driving. of course, of course. I was driving. We're going down this sort of wet, uh, wet uh, thing, right on, right close to the cliff edge, and um, uh, uh, I sort of did a turn, and then it just we did a 360, didn't we? During which I bailed out and left you sitting there, spinning, spinning like a top. Yeah, yeah. At the top of Lizard Point, 300 foot cliff below me, and you jumped out, and I'm heading towards the edge. Yeah, and why not? <laughs> what fun we had. Yeah, sadly that's not on film. Yes, sir. So Cy continues, swinging it both ways, and the ball. Oh, yes. oh, good ball, nice bit of flight there. There we go, halfway stage, 78 for five, and uh, into the attack, Johnny Longcock, and why not? Beautiful. Better than some of our. <laughs> well, Johnny thinks it's out. Don't you think it was out? I don't know. I'm going to look at slow motion. He's given it. And he's given it. Yep. Is it Yeah, good variation here from Slim Shady. Super stuff. What's going to happen here? Oh, no. Nothing. <laughs> Dresham's captain in at eight. 
by all accounts he uh, can hit a long ball. 79 for 6, hardly a run has been scored in the last 20 minutes. Lovely, lovely bowling. Well done, Yogi. Long crop continues. It's 84 for six. 28 overs gone. So it's uh, something like 118 off 22 overs required. Four wickets left. Oh, that's a good over from Lockie. Well bowled. Slim Shady, you carry on. As he should, in search of that fifth wicket. There we go, there's the score with the Tyler Ward sitting in front of it. Oh, well bowled, and that looks like a stumping chance, and it's a stumping out. Beautiful work from Rory, absolutely magnificent. That's a second one for Johnny. That's seven down. Beginning to smell the pilgrim. I mean, you know, Johnny's bowling well, but I think he needs to do something about his wardrobe, doesn't he? Oh, a little bit of turn there. I don't know, what do you think, viewers? Any advice? I'm sure Johnny will take it in the way in which it may be meant. Oh! Oh! Well, this will be fun. Uh, Josh Stace is bowled out and replaced by Chris Bowman, who really does give it a tweak when he puts it in the right spot. Oh, big ripper. Oh, the long cock roll. First one of the season, I think. Magnificent one it was too. Oh, that's yeah, a long, a big full toss. Four on it. So, 94 off 14 with just three wickets left. So, Chris Bowman continues in, oh dear. Uh, using from the twos, the all-conquering twos, they won again. Uh, got 130 against Jesper and Marlborough. Greg Petter for the top scoring with 33. And then bowls Jesper and Marlborough out for 110, I believe, something like that. And um, Otis Sinclair, four wickets. And uh, everyone else got one or two. Matt Harris got a couple. Ryan Foley got a couple. Spread about. Um, it looks like the threes are closing in on a victory. And the fours we don't know about yet. So all looking good still for Sanderstead in the league. Just need to get this one closed out. And why not? A lot of air on that one and that's uh, gone away. Four runs. More rubbish. I think we're trying to get them back in the game. And why not? 12 overs left, 72 to win. Three wickets in hand, that's just six and over. Sana said, mustn't be complacent here. Well, time to get serious. Simon brings himself back on and well bowled. Lovely hands there from Rory, as usual. Oh, and that's a direct hit. And he's just made it. Ah, great work though, good great good work good though there from Josh Stacey, good super good stuff. Good <laughs> there we go, seven and over needed now. Ah, good work from Kardashian there. <laughs> and it's gone, ricocheted for four. Oh, oh, oh. Mate. Seem to go the other way. And it's 62 to win off nine. And, uh, oh, that's uh, that's the wicket that. As I say, I was just getting a little bit. Uh, the guys are getting a little bit nervy there. Just getting things. Just get a bit complacent and slip. But uh, well, the scion and never wickets never far away. Eight down now. 
Still 62 needed. And he's gone, yes. So that's nine down now. Yeah, the, the traditional thing to do is to um, walk off the pitch. There we go. That's it, lovely. Well, that's a third wicket for Cy, four for Josh, and Lockie's got two. Can he wrap it up with a third? Not with that. Come on, Cy, let's get this done with. There we go. Super. That's uh, yeah, four for Cy, I think. Four for Josh Stacey, two for Lockie. Very good. So yeah, most people will have had those three in their fantasies alongside Yogi. Could be a big week for fantasy this week. Anyway, that's a magnificent victory for Sana said. It's looking a bit shaky at one point and then it just swung dramatically with the score at about 70 odd. Five wickets fell for virtually nothing. Magnificent. So that's a victory by what, 50? 54 runs, traditional greeting, fist bumps all around, super. Well played Strutter, they bowled and fielded really, really well I have to say, batting them down a little bit. But a good game, can't wait for the return fixture, whatever that is, splendid. Until then, or until next week, cheerio.